on the way to Karbala. In Kufa, Muslim Naqid, with the help of Mukhtar al Thaqafi and Han ibn Urwa, continued to hold secret meetings with the supporters of the Imam. And within a short time, the gathering started to gain momentum, and Yazid, through his spies and informants, learned about Muslims' successes in Kufa. He appointed the tyrant Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad to replace Al Nu'man ibn al Bashir as governor of Kufa. Meanwhile, Al Hussein's caravan got closer to its destination, coming to a place called Zubala. Imam Hussein unexpectedly received shocking news. The shocking news was about Muslim ibn Aqil and the person who provided him shelter, Han ibn Urwa, both of whom were arrested and beheaded by the governor Ibn Ziyad. Mukhtar was also arrested and imprisoned and tortured by Ibn Ziyad. Imam Hussein gathered his companions and disclosed to them about the bad news and said, Our Shia have deserted us. Those of you who prefer to leave us may do so freely and without guilt. Becoming scared, some companions left the caravan and Imam Hussein continued with the journey along with close companions and family members until he was face to face with 1,000 horsemen led by Hur al-Riyahi representing the enemy. The enemy army blocked the camps of Imam Hussein from advancing. Tension started to rise between the two. The Imam addressed the enemy, explaining to them his motives for going to Kufa, that it was in response to the invitation of the people. He even showed them a bag full of letters that he received from Kufa. Hur said that he and his men were not the writers of those letters. Imam told them that if they did not like him to advance with the journey, he was prepared to return to Hajaz. Hur replied, we are commissioned to follow you until we take you to Governor Ibn Ziyad and suggested to the Imam to go towards a station which is neither Kufa nor Medina. Imam Hussein found the proposal fair and turned the caravan away from Kufa. Hur and his army marched parallel to the Imam and the two sides reached a village called Naina where Ibn Ziyad's messenger, Yazid's governor over Kufa, delivered a message to Hur. The message read, Force Hussein to a halt, but let him stop in an open space without vegetation or water. Hur conveyed the contents of the letter to Imam Hussein. The Imam, his family, and companions defiantly resumed their journey and reached a place where another enemy force blocked their move and forced them to stop. When Imam Hussein learned that the place was called Karbala, he felt he reached the destination and ordered his camp to be set up. That day was the second of Muharram, 61 Hijri.